Okay, so this is what we will be doing. This is the link of the PDF. If I click download now, you can see two options. We can download using the browser or we can download using the download manager. If I click on download using browser, it is just redirected to the default browser and from there, browser will handle the URL. But if you want to download this from within the app, you can choose using download manager and as you can see, the download is complete using download manager. Okay, so let's get started. Now this is the layout that we have created. We have nothing but just one button here and one edit text here that has the link of the URL. And this can be anything. You can get this download link or link of the PDF from wherever your resource is. Okay, now let's just jump into the Java code. Now I've already done that. This is the button. This is the edit text. And the only thing I've done here is I've set the content view and I've set the reference to those buttons. Now first, as I've shown in the sample video, let's just send this URL to the browser and let the browser handle it. Let's do it the easy way. So if you've already done something like this before, uh, it's not much different from that. We just forward the request to the browser, all right? But first, <clears throat> first let's just create the dialog box that we had created in which we, we will choose how to uh, in which we will choose how to download the file to send it to the browser or to download it within the app. So let's create an alert dialog build alert builder. Let's give it the context. It will need a context. Let's set a message that says Choose download method. I just in the negative button. Let's say we want to download using a uh, manager. Let's say we can point click listener. Now we will do the stuff here later, but first. Let's just download using browser. <clears throat> we just start the activity with a view intent. So we go new intent intent dot action view now this is the URL of the PDF file but uh, what we'll do is we'll just get it and send it to this thing now what this will do is it'll just take this URL and view it and whatever apps can handle this URL, they will be shown in the options if a default is not set. Now this is all you need to do if you, if you need to send the URL of the PDF to a, brow, uh, a browser or an app to handle it. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. But if you want to download it within your app using a download manager, uh, we will need to create a download manager request. So let's see how we can do that now. Okay, so let's create a function. It's called download PDF and we'll pass a string PDF URL here. I'm creating this function inside a function. Let's not do that. <clears throat> now, we create a download manager request. It's pretty simple. Just reference to uh, download manager and we go request. Request equals to download manager request. And here, Again, we do what we did 
while sending the URL to the browser that is parse the URI and similar to the download similar to other dialog builder we just set a title uh, let's say PDF download set a description also let's say downloading the PDF file And we can choose what to do with the notification. Should this be visible in the notification bar or not? So let's just set that to what we can do is uh, we can just notify completed or we can just uh, show it visible all the time. Let's do visibility visible so that it's visible while downloading also. Now we choose where we want to download this, right? So right now, we, I'll just download it in the external public downloads directory. Uh, you can download it to anywhere you want. And we just here we write PDF file or PDF. Finally, the download manager service. And we queue the download. It's pretty easy. This is it. Now we have our function ready. We just call this function whenever the user clicks on download using download manager. And we send the URL and we are done. This is it. It's pretty simple. And now we have already seen how this works. This is all you need to do, guys. All right, let's let's just run this again so that we can see if there are no errors. Okay. One thing we missed. One thing is, uh, <laughs> it just ran on my device but the dialog manager is uh, the dialog is not visible so let's make the dialog visible sorry uh, I didn't mean to do that so what we need to do is here we just need to do builder.show now the dialog manager will be shown and let's just run this again on my device and yep we are working now 